I, I, when I reached out to Colin, I, I really am sincere in asking for your advice and counsel and, and, well, and assistance. Just let me say that my first advice was to have this meeting this morning. I took it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, one of the one of the Maybe points I wanted to make is, you know, we're going to listen, and you know, when we find an actionable uh, suggestion, you know, we're going to do it. And Colin's advice was, you know, to be blunt. Get your butt out there and meet the artist and, and that tomorrow morning and so I took that advice and that's why we're here. Well we appreciate it. Thank you. Pardon? Not just artists. Not just patrons. Patrons, patrons and artists, well. yes. I'm just yeah. using a broader community. Can I get one of those waters over there? <laughs> I I will uh, hit some of the salient questions here. I know that lots of people have contributed to them. Um, uh, it's it's great to have you both here. Terry, I know that you just expressed that one of the provisos of coming on as the board, uh, the interim board chair, was that um, Eric demonstrated that he can feel the rift within the artistic community. I guess we're all interested, what are the measurable outcomes that you expect that to be, and what are the qualifying ingredients that you expect the full board will give your stamp of approval to in showing that the rift has been healed? Certainly in your seven weeks up until so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a bit of an immediacy of uh, evaluative criteria that uh, you know is difficult to measure. And when you're talking to an accountant, you know, Lord knows we can measure everything. So you know we can create a statistic, uh, you know, in any realm. Um, so to answer your question, I don't know the answer to that. You know. Uh, I think that we need to take that under consideration uh, over the next uh, few uh, days and weeks. Uh, one of the things that we will be counseling Eric on and uh, we will be participating on uh, is to put together a plan, put together a, a 10 day, a 30 day, a 180 day, and a 360 day plan. I think one of the things that would be a tangible outcome of that question is within the 10-day plan, what is the process for hearing from the constituent groups, artists, community, third ward, donors, uh, as to you know what their views would be. Uh, to the extent that that's in process, to the extent that we have the coffee club here at, on Friday morning, I think that would be a measurable outcome, and that would be one of the evaluative criteria. Just an example. I'm not saying that's you know one. You know, is Tess here? Does Eric have to be here 100 percent of the time? You know, if he has a meeting with the city and Tess is here, but you know, participation in that would be an example. And fair enough. Oh well, yeah, definitely. This, it's all great. And the, this plan that you're uh, that, that you're going to do—it sounds like this is an actionable item. Are you going to share that with the uh, different constituency groups? And how? I guess how you, would you define the different stakeholders in this project? I don't know that the stakeholders are all that uh, um, unknown in the process. You know, we obviously have the city of Milwaukee. You know, we have our patrons. We have you know. We're all smart people here, we're all adults, we're all professionals. So I think we know who the stakeholders are. As to sharing that those plans, uh, I think absolutely that would be a positive step. Um, as I said, not everybody's gonna like the outcome of them, you know, but everybody's gonna have a, the ability to have you know input in on it. And I think once we get an outcome, uh, that's where people's character becomes tested because it's when you don't agree with something and you still participate that people's professionalism and sense of obligation comes through.